Yeah. Wow. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like the emotional cheating, it's like the pers- the one person is missing something in their relationship. I feel like that can be solved with, like, therapy, <laughs> whether it be whether you go to a professional place to do it or if you get therapy from a neutral friend or if you get therapy just with you, each other, communicating. I feel like sometimes... Um, couples don't communicate that well. And so, you know, if, if one if one person is like, oh, I, whenever I want to talk about this, you always want to get defensive or whatever. And so they go to somebody else to vent or to be able to be respected and heard and, you know, treated with respect, which they don't get to vent and talk to their girlfriend about this situation. But then with their other friend, they can. But again, Communication is key and very important to do it with your significant other, not somebody else. Your significant other should be your best friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, I I will say, you know, being cheated on feels like the worst. It makes you feel like, like, what could you have done, you know, to change that Mm -hmm. from happening? And... You know, and I think what's far worse than the actual cheating is the lying and the continuing of lying. Do you think that's the worst part of being cheated on? I don't know. I feel like what we do to ourselves in our own head after being cheated on is the worst. Because it's like, like you said, you think, what could I have done differently so this wouldn't have happened? And you go through it in your mind. And then, you know, it's, you're already in emotional and mental torment. You know what I mean? So it's like, it just eats away at you and it makes, it can make someone's self-esteem go down. Yeah. Now it how can, can we get over this? Like, it takes forever to get over having your heart broke. Mm-hmm. Like, how do we get over being cheated on? With yeah. time. And time, ta- heals, time, all time heals all wounds and it takes a long time sometimes. I say sometimes like up a year. It can take a year to it get over somebody. It can take longer than that. It can take a lot longer than that. I know I can hold grudges sometimes for a long time and bring up some old stuff. Because like, it still hurts. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And it and it's like a mind ninja in the back of your mind. Just but it's kind of <laughs> like it's kind of like a permanent bruise. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't. You don't really. It doesn't ever really go away. It's like a tattoo. You know how they say like in order to get over something you must forgive. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like when we forgive, obviously we don't forget, so do you feel like the remembrance of that will still mess with you? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Like, do you really get over something if you don't forget it? That's a, that's a good question. It's tricky. I think that good question. to get over stuff, like when you finally just let go of it, like you push it out of your mind. Because I think that when something happens to us, as hurtful as it is, it's almost like we don't want to let go of the memory because mm-hmm. like we want to keep throwing it in the other person's face mm-hmm. or you just want to hold on to that hurt for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Like we do it to ourselves. And sometimes you hold on to the hurt to remind ourselves of why you don't want this person in your life. Mm-hmm. Because when you love somebody and they're trying to come back in, it's oh, like you got to hold on to it because you got to remember, okay, this is why, this is why. Because if you, if you forgive and just let it go, the pain's not there anymore. So mm-hmm. then it, it could be a possibility for it to be open again and for them to come back in. Right. It's and so you, kind you know, of you so keep crazy. thinking about like all the good qualities that this person has mm-hmm. that's done this to you and that's like, that's what kind of like makes it like a catch-22. Twists your mind up. Yeah, and yeah. it like really, yeah, it mind boggles you. You're like, what the heck? It's like one minute you're like, well, not mm-hmm. a big deal. Mm-hmm. The person didn't mean it. And then another hand, you're like, well, how could they lie to me? How could they treat me this way? So it's like you're juggling your emotions that are like opposite. Like you're juggling your brain and your heart. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that's really hard. To have yeah. to juggle those two different, you Woo! know, it's like crashing, you know, like crashing into something, mm-hmm. you know. So now have you ever cheated? <laughs> dun 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 Not dun. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't joke. <laughs> um. 
I think that that's a difficult question for me to answer. Oh. And the reason I'm going to say <laughs> that is um, I think that, um, I don't know, is it cheating when you tell the person you're going to do it, even though you're still with the person? Huh? Mm. You know what I mean? Is that still cheating? It could be. I mean, it depends on what. Because, I mean, is cheating, because, I mean, is cheating done only in secret? No. Yeah. I mean, but do you feel like it's over already? Like, is this thing over already? So is it okay to do now and stuff like that? I mean, depends I mean, on the situation. But no, I officially am not somebody who would cheat on right. someone. No. I mean, I, I'm not that type of person. I believe I'm in, like, one-on-one -on -one relationships. And so. I think that if somebody were to cheat and were planning on it, that's the best way to go. Let yeah. your partner know. Yeah, yeah I'm about was, to do this yeah. and that's then it. Then they know what they're dealing with. Exactly. And then they can choose accordingly. Like, give me the option. Yep, let me know, let me know so I can decide whether it's there. Mm -hmm. That's why I used to be like, well. If you're gonna do it, make it, yeah, let me know so we can, <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. Like you, said, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. communication. Like, give good. me yeah. respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you'll ever meet somebody that won't cheat on you? I don't know. Like the type of dudes I like are horrible. So <laughs> you see this? Me too. I mean, I, I, I got to keep it real with myself. So like I like a certain kind of guy mm -hmm. like and all those guys are no bueno. <laughs> and like mm -hmm. one of my coworkers, he said to me, Anna, now he's a married man. Uh oh. He was like, Anna, I'm going to tell you. All men cheat. And I, when he said that, I'm just like, oh. Mm. Like, That's unbelievable. Crush. But I feel like the majority of people do cheat, men or women. But I still have faith that. You'll find that, that person. That I will find that person for me. I really, really do. There's times when I'm like, you know, when I think otherwise. But there's always something inside that's like, just give it time. I'd hate to think that there aren't people out in the world that aren't honest people. Yeah, absolutely. I'd hate Tons to think that. I think most people in the world are dishonest and fake. But I'd hate to think there, there are no real people out there. That You don't think that. Yeah. I, I don't think there's not no real people out there. I just think that most people put up a facade mm -hmm. for other people. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I'm not even going to front. When I was younger, I used to put up a facade for people. Now I don't care. Like, mm -hmm. you take me as I am, mm -hmm. or you can go ahead. I don't Pretty care. much. Like me or hate me, whatever. And a lot of people put up a facade um, for who because they want to be Accepted. who they want to be. Yeah. Who they uh, hope, who they <laughs> wish that they were. Yeah. That's true. But like you said, I'm, I feel the same way. And I've always felt this way. Like, I'm going to be how I am. You don't like it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And you just have to hope for the best, you know, hope for the best people coming into your life and mm -hmm. hope that you will meet the, the honest people that you do want to meet. Mm -hmm. So, 